All right, cool. Awesome. Buckle up for safety, right? Yes. First thing is first. <laughs> seat belt. I'm gonna need you out of seat belt too. <laughs> yeah, I will. Oh yeah. Not a bad day for jazz. Hey guys, I'm Marlon with Pedal Movement, and we're gonna go rebalance this today. All right, so for today, we're gonna work in the downtown region and make sure every bike is good and ready to go for the people of Palm Beach City. If I'm gonna ride the bike, how do I want it? You know, give that respect to all the bikes. Probably see more people out there pedaling around. So right now I'm just uh, swapping batteries, bring it back out to 100%. Gonna disinfect these bad boys and they'll be ready for people to be used. Since I'm here, I'm also gonna make it look nice and just by the time I leave, it should be really good, so yeah. All right, pretty much it right there. Nice. Going to the next hub. Lived there all my life. Uh, I seen the city grew uh, from what it was in 1990. I learned a lot about the city, learned a lot about the people, like, you know, even about, you know, like homeless too, you know, just, but we're all, you know, here together. So the only best thing we can do is just take care of each other. You know? Only way to make people happy, man. On the way, we spot two bikes right here. Yeah, we're gonna basically pick those bad boys up, inspect them and make sure they're good. And if they're good, put them back out in the world. If they're bad, taking it back. Yeah, sadly, no one didn't really care for those lovely bicycles. I love working on bikes. Been working on bicycles my whole life. And some people actually stop me and it's like, hey man, I appreciate what you're doing, you know, or like, hey, my son is, is riding his bike to college and we appreciate, you know, what you're doing. And those stuff like that is just, you know, you know, if, if I had a rough day, that, that will light my mood up. That'll be the highlight of my week. You know? Just little stuff like that. Working in this city is just, it's, it's rewarding. Like, yes, it's work, but it's fun. Uh, it takes me all around town, so. I get to check out the bikes, and there's also, people are awesome here too, so, yeah. I'm trying to spread that positivity like butter on a pan. I'm Jasmine with Pedal Movement, and today we're going to give you a few tips to think about while using a multi-use path, whether it's the beach path here in Long Beach or one wherever you live. Tip number one, pay attention to your speed. Most multi-use paths have 10 to 50 mile per hour speed limits, but just because the speed limit isn't posted doesn't mean the beach path is a place where you can find out how fast your new bike goes. Sure, if the path is clear, you could speed it up a little bit, but keep it under control. Tip number two, pass on the left and ride on the right, just like in a car. Don't be that jerk doing 55 in the fast lane. And if you're riding with a group, don't cross the entire lane. If you do have to pass, make sure that you do it safely. Don't weave in and out of riders. Tip number three, look and signal before stopping or making any unpredictable moves. Even though you're doing everything right, others may not be paying attention. So you want to do everything in your power to communicate your next move. Tip number four, slow down in crowded areas, especially if you see families and kids around. Yes, pedestrians should look out too, and we all make mistakes. But on a beach path without cars, it's you on a bike that can do the most damage. So watch out. Number five, use your words. Call out on your left when you're passing. If you have a bell, use one when you're approaching groups. The more you can do to let people know where you're going and where you are, everyone will be better off. And lastly, just be a good person. 
Say hi, be patient, pet a dog. Everyone's out here having a good time. You're riding a bike on a beach in California. How much better can I get? Oh yeah, like and subscribe. <laughs>